Best Maha on record. The East Coast states of Kalantan and Tringanu are fairly humming with activity to get the orders for the new court regalia ready by Madekade. Here in Kotobaru, the paramount ruler's mace, or Trogon Alam, is being worked on by craftsman Yusuf, who made the mace for the Legislative Council. Made of silver, about five feet long, this royal baton incorporates several Malayan motives and was designed in the office of the Keeper of the Ruler's Seal. The orb will rest on four tigers and will be surmounted by a gold crescent and star. This is the design for the paramount ruler's golden crease of state. The top of the gold scabbard incorporates the federation and state crests. The blade was made from 11 small creases presented from the ancient regalia of each state and settlement. Meanwhile, in Tringanu, working from a plaster model made in Kuala Lumpur, work proceeded on the Trogon Ugama, or spiritual mace. Here the designs are more Arabic in character. On the head of this mace will be engraved text from the Quran, seen here in draft form and later to be lettered in gold. The two chokma, of which these melon-shaped spheres will form the heads, are ancient weapons or clubs which used to be carried in a ruler's retinue when he went into battle. These spears will be carried by 20 spearmen, and there will also be 20 umbrella bearers. The 18 Panglima will carry most of the regalia, and each wear a short crease. uniforms of black and gold are being woven and tailored in Cotabaro. As well as black trousers and cayenne sampin, or short sarong, the Panglima will wear jackets of scarlet. Spearmen and umbrella bearers will wear uniforms of coral color and short sarong woven with gold thread. These are being made in Tringano. The Bengkong, or belt, bears the Federation crest. Just one of the brilliant patches of colour that will dazzle the eye when the paramount ruler is installed. 